I, I did a, at the start of the pandemic, I did a YouTube video, it's out there. And because YouTube doesn't allow the thumbs down to show you the number of thumbs down, I have this one video that has gotten a lot of heat. It's got equal You amount. believe there's millions of thumbs down. <laughs> no, I can see on my end that it's oh. about 50-50. Oh, there's wow. a lot of thumbs up, but there's a lot of thumbs down. And the people that have their thumbs down and make comments, this was early on what all the comments were. TJ, have you ever studied terrain theory? Have you ever studied terrain? This is the first I've ever talked about. Have you ever, because I've never responded to any of them. And so I went and I studied terrain theory. You know what terrain theory what is? What is terrain theory? You already know. My passion and my mission to help you unleash your greatness with them. My heart goes out to the underdogs. That's on our way. If you think you can, go from good to great. Okay, let's motivate. Greatnesswithin.com. TJ Hoisington. Greatnesswithin.com. What is terrain theory? It's about a lot. Well, some people will say there is no such thing as germs. Okay, now I'm not smart enough to know whether that's true or not true, but my, I'll get people to the will answer. say there's no such thing as germs? There's a whole community out there that thinks there are really, well, that's what people will argue. So right. I'll get to terrain theory in two seconds, but the video was just about Ignaz Semmelweis, who was back in 1840 realized he was the administrator over several hospitals, hospitals and midwife centers, and noticed that people were dying all of a sudden and uh, like at a high number. So one night you woke up thinking, hey, maybe it's the knives and the things we're using on cadavers that's transferring particles from a dead person mm -hmm. over to a new person. And, and so let's just clean with a lime solution. Let's clean the instruments. And, and all of a sudden the death stopped, the death, the death stopped. It went down to like 1% from 10, 13% down to 1% and mm -hmm. so forth. And my whole point was that, Hey, wash your hands. Now, this was at the right. beginning of the pandemic, right? I was just trying to say, wash your hands. Right, right. It's just, that's all my, but people are like, don't you know that germs don't You're even You're crazy. Exist? Don't You're wash crazy. your hands. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I ignored that, but it did make me go because I'm teachable. Right, right. You want to learn. Discover what terrain theory is. And yeah. it's basically what yeah. you and I were just talking about. That our immune system is strong enough that if you if, if you are healthy, if you are healthy. if you're healthy and you maintain a healthy vessel, yep. a vessel, then you can shield yourself yep. from the different viruses and um, and germs if they yep. exist, right? Whatever um, and and stuff. That it's all their argument in the train theory is that you're a miracle, a walking miracle, if you'll yep. just feed it properly. You'll give yourself what's necessary to fend off whatever is out there. Yeah. And I thought that's Look, true. I think I think a, I think there there is truth in that. And there's also truth in the science that people have built up for the last you know, thousands of years. I think we know I agree there's that both balance. of those go hand in hand. And, you know, during the pandemic, I have older parents and we were deathly concerned of whether they were going to survive the pandemic. And in the beginning, keep it in mind, in the beginning, we didn't know what, we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what was going on. People were like wiping their mail down. Like it was crazy, right? Totally. And I actually have a very funny story. Uh, so in this home show, um, Martha Stewart has agreed to be in the home show. Oh, cool. When it happened. Yeah. So okay. she'll be sort of like my expert. Whenever I'm messing up and it's not working, I'll go to see Martha and she'll okay. be like, I'll, I'll go to Bedford, New York, and she'll be like, wipe your feet. Don't get dirt on the carpet. Yeah, exactly. Use a coaster, right? This That's is what you're doing wrong. And then she sends me back out. So Martha and I have been talking about this for a couple months. And this was in January. And then she said, look, I, I, don't, I don't do deals unless I sit face to face with you. Oh, now, man. it's now March 3rd. And COVID is really bubbling in the news. And she's like, I want you to come to New York and sit down with me. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to. I'm going to kill Martha Stewart. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to bring yeah. COVID and she's going to die. And I was like, Martha, let's just do this. She's like, nope, I got to sit face to face. So on March 9th or March 8th, I fly to New York. Uh -huh. And uh, next morning, so my parents, I was like, I can't see you guys. They're like, don't worry, don't worry. We won't hug. Of course, they don't listen to me or whatever. They That's hug. what my mom said right? too. Yeah. So, uh, so then the next morning, I go to Martha's company. It's empty, right? It's just me and her. 
in the conference room. She brought her Martha Stewart sweet potato fries. She's like sliding them down the length of the conference table. I'm eating them. We laugh. We joke. She's like, I'm in. And I leave. And now I'm in New York. Like I have a day before my flight. And I'm like, what am I going to do? So I call a buddy. I'm like, do you want to get dinner? He's sure. So I'm at dinner with him at a restaurant. And I go down. Use the bathroom. I'm checking my phone. Tom Hanks has COVID. The NBA shuts down. I'm like, I got to get out of New York. And that was, then it was on. And it was on. But uh, Martha Stewart's still alive, everybody. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. What an interesting two years. But, but anyway, get, so. Getting back to so the book. Both, I, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Both, both sides of it, right? You yeah, have both to, sides of it. The science behind it. And then also don't be too hermetically sealed off because, you know, getting a little taste of dirt will help you in the long well, run. Well, I, I just on to end on that point. I remember I had some guys over at my bungalow and there's stairs that go up to the bungalow and we were going to have a big kind of strategy meeting. We we're going to be there for like four hours and halfway through, I said, Hey, you know, we don't need a lot of frozen pizza or anything, but I happened to see some on sale. So I put them in my freezer you guys want some pizza? And they're like, heck yeah, go do it. So I went and threw them in the oven, came out to the bungalow with the pizza on the racks. And these gentlemen that were with me were in their 60s or whatever. And um, I'm walking up the stairs with my flip flops and I trip and I lean forward and a bunch of the pizza, not all of it, but a bunch of it went on all over the steps up to the bungalow. Immediately, these guys come out of the bungalow and they're like, Oh no, here, we'll help pick it up. And they help pick it up. I go, guys, I am really sorry that I just destroyed all this pizza. And Tim, one of these guys, Tim goes, you kidding me? This isn't going to hurt anybody. Oh, Let's yeah. eat this. And you know what? They ate Count to, count to five. Count to yeah, five. Count to five. They it's ate up. all that pizza. A <laughs> little bit of dirt isn't going to hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this has been great. <laughs>